Hi, thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Hello friends and students, let's study the song. I have learned this piece in the meter of 4-4 four, four in the key of E minor. Let's learn the arpeggiated or picked introduction part. C chord, which goes up to a D sauce. Then we will learn the cool strumming pattern that comes before the singing starts. One, two, three, four. Okay, so as usual, if you'd like to learn more, uh, you can check out the sheet music that comes with this video. You will find it on my Facebook page also where it's easy for you to print it off. And remember, I am writing in standard music notation, so you can share this with your friends who play like flute or violin or piano, because that's a good way to make it available to the most people. All right, so let's begin. The first measure is an E minor seven chord. I'm preparing in this way. I'm putting my second finger, you call it middle finger, second finger on fourth string at second fret, and I'm putting my fourth finger, or what you call pinky, on the second string at the third fret. Okay, so this is preparing the E minor seven chord. Now, what you're going to do is, now that the chord is prepared, play string four, three, and then skip to string one. So that's string four, three, skip to string one, then come back to play uh, string two and three. Okay, so that's... All right, you have to do it twice. So I'm gonna do count to four and I will do it twice in a row. Of course, it has a cool rhythm. You have to pay attention closely to the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now, Release your second finger or your middle finger, and we'll play this D sus in this way, which is just playing string four, three, and two. The, the fourth finger is still holding that fret three on string two, letter D. Now the picking pattern is a little bit different. You're going to play string four, three, two, and then three, four, three. I'm talking about the strings now. You're gonna play string four, three, and then two, and then string three, four, and three. Do that twice in a row. It will sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, and the two E, and the three, and the four E, and the three. Now, I'm gonna slow down just a little bit, and I will put together the E minor part and the D part, the D suspended part. Okay, let me count to four. I will do twice in a row. One, two, Three, four, one, two. All right. Now the C chord for two beats, and then the next two beats, beat three and four, you carry the C up one whole step. You see, that's a whole step. In other words, 
if you're using your third finger as a guide, it moves up to the fifth fret and you retain the same interval structure. Now, remove the second finger, remove your middle finger and play string four, three, and two and one. So that's the uh, little transitional material there, which is going from C to D suspended. Okay, and now we go to a regular E minor. Here is the strum pattern we were talking about. So, uh, if you watch my videos before, you know uh, I like to count and I like to be specific about the placement. You have to have targets, exact targets that are based on fractional divisions of the beat. In this case, we have to think of one e enda, two e enda, three e enda, four e enda, taka dimi, taka juna, taka dimi, taka juna, this kind of thing. Okay, I'm not gonna uh, make a big fuss about down and up strokes right now. You can focus on that, and I see so many people talking this way. Oh, you go down, down, up, 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 down, down, down. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, what more important than the down and up stroke is the target of the beat that you play. So. One effective strategy is just to be able to clap this beat without your guitar. Who cares about what chord? Who cares about what strum? All these things don't mean anything unless you have the right beat. One, two, ready, clapping. One, and a, two, three, four, and three, two, three, four, four, and a, one, and a, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I will do muted strumming. One, two, three, four. One and a two e and three e a four. One and a two e and three e a four. One and a two e and. Oops. Now I will add the chord. Just a simple E minor chord with the beat and the strumming. Of course, up and down stroke does matter at a certain level, but first we will get the right beat. Then we will add the nuances of the up and down stroke and the targeting and the dynamics. By this I mean uh, we will first get it right and then we will get it more right. So that would be adding dynamics like some nice volume swells and changes, targeting certain groups of strings to make your chord have a more dynamic effect by not playing the same strings on every beat and every time the chord is iterated. And uh, yes, so these things will matter as well as mixing in some up and down strokes to give it a certain character. But right now, let's just get the right beat, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have learned uh, the first seven, it looks like, well, you know, with the repeat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine measures of this song. So if you'd like to learn more, please check out the sheet music in, uh, at my Facebook page, right? So with these items, I hope you will have the tools to study well and have fun.